Hi guys, my name is Dr. Emilio Parador. I am the program director at the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. And the program is absolutely great because our faculty are top-notch, true experts that continuously treat. And because of all of that, our board's pass rate is 100%. 100% of our students are employed within six months of graduating from our program. And there's such great opportunities to provide service. We have a pro bono clinic, and also the students run a mission trip to Guatemala on an annual basis. It makes Dominican the premier place for your education because of all that we have to offer. Dominican is located in Rockland, New York, 20 minutes away from New York City. The program started in 2002. The whole goal of our program is to allow those who never had the opportunity to become a physical therapist to become a physical therapist. And the way we do that is by having a weekend format. There's no way your thumb could generate enough force. We have three semesters a year. We take three or four classes three times a year. So this is how we fit everything and still allow someone to work support themselves. In that it's a weekend program, I was able to work and you know make some money. I go three days, I don't waste time traveling every day, going to school and coming back. It's every other weekend, then I have like 10 days to get prepared for the next instructional weekend. I tell everybody, it's a journey. So year one is all about laying the foundations on becoming a physical therapist. And it starts on day one. During orientation, we teach you how to study. We teach you how to manage stress. We have something called the PT Olympics where you meet your big brothers and big sisters. And all of this lays the foundation for your didactic work in the PT program. We saw the professors out of like a professor element. So it's very interesting to see a professor not act like a professor. Your first year is getting ready for physical therapy school. Year two is getting ready for your clinic. Then year three, it's all about try to prepare students for the boards. Our record is 100% board pass rate for the last three years in a row. My job is to place students in clinical affiliations. So you're gonna sit in a classroom and you're gonna learn a bunch of valuable information, anatomy, physiology, cardiology, pediatrics, neurology, and so on. You take all that information and you have to put that into a real world experience. I've been blessed. I treat professional athletes from all over the world. College, NFL, Major League Soccer, the NBA. It's fantastic. And uh, Dominican gave me that opportunity. We have Dominican students in our clinics every day. Quality of student is unbelievable. We have a pro bono clinic. It's a wonderful opportunity to provide physical therapy services and you also work with your professors because then it allows us to see you actually treat real patients and the students absolutely love it. It's a low stakes affair. It's all about learning. And once a year our students organize a trip to Guatemala. And this is a wonderful opportunity to provide PT to the underserved. These courses really align with what I want to do. They're very hands-on. What's really unique about the program, the students have a wonderful opportunity to conduct research from A to Z. And on top of that, get to do this in a brand new research clinic, which has state-of-the-art equipment. And much of the findings that have been done in the past has actually been presented in national conferences. This program is very focused on manual therapy, and that's something that I'm also interested in. We treat the entire body. We have more of a holistic approach. Highest distinction you could get as a manual therapist is to be a fellow. We actually have two, and we have two more about to become fully certified. So it really tells you we value good old-fashioned hands-on manual physical therapy. It's something magical when you're able to help somebody get out of pain or walk better using your hands and using your brains. In addition to having expertise in musculoskeletal rehabilitation, we have two faculty members who have the distinction of being board certified in neurological rehabilitation and they bring that expertise to the classroom. One of the things that we're very passionate about is recruiting students who are underrepresented minorities. At the end of the day, they need to see other people who look like them doing well in this profession. We started a club called AIR, which stands for Action, Inclusion, and Respect. And essentially what we did to talk about is the importance of having minorities within this field, such as our professors, and just the importance of knowing that there's people who look like me and who might understand the goals that I want to attain. They care about you, not only in an academic perspective, but once you graduate here, because you are a representation of the program. It's more than just, can you pass? We want you to be a better person. 
If you're interested to learn more, there's an application you do through PTCAS. See the link below to learn more.